Adobong chicken gizzard, everyone. Enjoy. Using two pounds of chicken gizzard. When I purchased this from the grocery store, it is already clean and gutted. But when I came home, I washed it with cold water a few times. And I'm now ready to use my pressure cooker to cook it and make it tender. I have enough cold water into my pressure cooker and I'm adding one fourth cup of soy sauce para kumapit yung lasa as you pressurize it. I use my pressure cooker to pressurize and make my chicken gizzards soft and tender. I cook it for 20 minutes. You don't want to um, make it mushy, just soft but not mushy. 20 minutes on um, pressure cooker is enough. I'm now preheating a um, saute pan here. Rather than adding oil into my pan, I'm just gonna add my um, cooked chicken gizzards for now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna just dry it up just a tiny bit to remove the uh, water or the liquid. So when I um, add the oil, hindi siya titilan sec. Okay, I cook it for two minutes. That Now that the liquid has uh, dried up, I'm just creating a tiny well right at the middle, if you can see. Now I'm adding four to five tablespoons of my cooking oil. This is the time that I'm gonna fry it. I'm just gonna brown it a little bit, okay? Okay, two minutes. Look at this. So, medyo brown na siya ng konti, okay? Two minutes. Now let's add our soy sauce. Let's also add our suka or vinegar. Let's add dry bay leaves. Five cloves of garlic or more if you want. Mince. Half a teaspoon of ground pepper. I did not add a lot of soy sauce because I am adding patis or fish sauce. Just continue to cook it for another two minutes, okay? And during this process, if you want your um, chicken gizzard adobo na masabaw, just like how I want it, I'm adding one and a half cups of chicken broth. Gusto ko po may sabaw yung... Um, aking adobong gizzard. So, entirely up to you. You may omit it if you want. Turn off the heat and you are done. Check this out. Look at this. Adobong chicken gizzard, guys. Adobong chicken gizzard, everyone. Enjoy.